Hi, this is Needlepointers.com. Have you seen this new looped yarn at Joanne Fabrics or at Michael's? This is a new type of yarn that I found in the store and I thought it was very interesting looking to see how we would use this yarn. This loop yarn makes it very easy for you to knit, even if you don't know how to knit. When you work with this yarn, you need no needles, just your hands. And sometimes you need a tape tapestry needle to weave in the end at the, at the end of the project. Other than that, you can stitch without knowing how to knit. This is a great way to learn and it's quick and easy and it's a lot of fun. I bought this Bernat Elise yarn from Joanne Fabrics, but I've also seen at Michael's and other stores, other brands have come out with this loop, loop type of yarn. At Michael's, I saw that Red Heart has a brand of yarn like this and also loops and threads. So with this yarn, we can do actual knitting types of stitches. In this video, I'm going to show you the stocking stitch. And I'll have another video which will also show you the garter stitch. These are the two basic stitches and we can start with and let's get started. So when you're knitting the stocking stitch, you will always have a foundation row. So this is my foundation row and you will be told by the pattern how many loops to count. So I'm going to count, say, 15 loops. So one, two. So this is my 15th loop. So this is going to be called your foundation row, and this is where I'm going to work across to build my stitches. Over here is my working yarn. To do the stocking stitch, we take the last loop that you counted and take your working yarn, and from back to front, just pull the yarn through and that's it. So we, it's easiest to pull your yarn kind of across and you want to make sure you don't miss any of the loops. So my, that was my first stitch. My next stitch is here and I'm going to go back to front with the next loop in the working yarn. And here's the next loop and I go back to front through the loop. So next loop, just take it back from the back to the front through the through the loop. Working yarn keeps going and we keep just putting the loops through. So there. That's it. I've actually made the stocking stitch. And I continue across the whole row. So once you get to the end of the row, it's best if you count your stitches to make sure you didn't miss any. So I do one, two, three, four, five. So I got 15 there. So I know I got all the loops. I've been stitching with this to make a blank uh, pillow, and every once in a while I'll miss a loop. Or I'll skip a loop that are in the working yarn. And so then all of a sudden I'll have an extra loop here. So first, when you want to go back, so if I'm going to continue doing the stocking stitch, I just continue by keeping, keep going with this next loop in the working yarn and head back the other direction. It's still always taking your next loop, going from the back to the front and pulling it through. Now, say I miss a stitch, I miss a loop in the working yarn. See there? Now I have an extra loop. So when I would get across, I'm going to have this extra loop counted um, if I count again to make sure I have the right number of loops. Also, sometimes the, the extra loop will like, depending on what kind of stitch you're doing, it'll stand out and all of a sudden you'll be like, wait, where'd that stitch come from? Also, with this, so I'm going to take this back out. With this method of knitting, you don't turn. You don't have to turn. Like usually in knitting, you go across one row and then you turn your work to the other side. In this, you don't turn. You're always keeping the, 
the front is the right side and it's always facing you. So I'm working my way across. But this is basically the stocking stitch. There's, uh, It's a very simple stitch and it is easy to do. So you could do a whole entire scarf or something or a pillow or a blanket just using the stocking stitch if you'd like. Please click the link in the iCard or the description of this video to visit our website needlepointers.com. From there we will have some links of where to buy the yarn and the close-up pictures, step-by-step -step instructions, and also I can provide a link to some projects that you can do with this yarn. In a future video we will actually have a project that I've been working on. So I hope you enjoyed this video to learn how to do the stocking stitch with this new looped yarn and maybe you would buy some yarn and try it yourself. Don't forget to pin our YouTube projects to your wall so that you don't lose the videos or our web page that has the both the videos and the resources for patterns and pictures. Visit our website needlepointers.com for lots of other knitting and crochet videos and tutorials.